Well, once again, not to disappoint, we're at the Burnaby Pond and Cobus has got some really awesome stuff to show us, but in particular, his rescue boat is really cool. All right, we're with Cobus here and he's got his rescue boat. What can you tell us about it? Well, it's a 10th scale model of a RNLI rescue boat and um, it's called an Atlantic 21 and it's built from the original factory plans. I got the plans from England, from the RNLI. This is all scratch built? Yeah. What kind of materials went into this? Because this obviously isn't wood. No, the tubing, this is the same tubing that they use in houses for the vacuum cleaner piping, the thin wall plastic tubing. Okay. And it's covered with um, bed sheet material, painted and sanded and painted to get the canvas effect. And the, the hull itself is 132nd in supply. And you took the time even to put the seams into the uh, pontoons here where the actual canvas of the real ones yeah. are welded together. And the motor system on the back here, well, this was obviously off one of the Hobbyco... Uh, yeah, it's, it's an Aquacraft motor, just the bottom part. The top part I had to make to make it look scale like an even route because it's not a normal Aquacraft. You know, where they keep store their ropes, their oars, the anchor winch, and all the instrumentation is all scale. The gauges and stuff on the dashboard, where do you find stuff like that? The actual instruments is uh, photos that I took from a magazine, and then I reduced it on my computer. And those are uh, the bottles back there, oxygen bottles? No, these are compressed nitrogen, and this is a self-writing system. Okay. So if the boat rolls over, there's a mechanism in here that senses the boat is inverted, and one of the bottles will fire and this thing will inflate and it will right the boat. If it doesn't work automatically, then the crew is supposed to, to set off the second one. Okay, so if they're in really rough water, the boat flips and they're tossed out, the boat will right itself yeah. and they can get back in. Yeah, and you will notice all the crew have got lifelines that attaches to the boat. So even if a boat gets flipped, they can get themselves back on the boat. And in here, they, there's coiled rope stored and then the round rope is like a tenacoid ring and they can actually throw that at somebody quite a distance and then the rope will deploy out of these, out of these canisters to get it to whoever needs to be rescued. How did you come up with those helmets? The helmets are actually, um, if you go to, to the candy store, and you get these candy vending machines. Okay. They have this little ball with a, with a, with a candy Plastic and, cap some, on it and some, ca some gift inside. Okay. And uh, they are cut from that and sprayed on the inside with a matte white spray paint. And then the, the visors can work. So 75 cents for the helmets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually a bit more because I had a couple of failures before I got it to work properly. Oh. The figures are from a, a thrift store. I had to to take their clothes and uh, dye it with uh, color dye mm -hmm. to get it to the to the color right to the right shades. Yeah. The life jackets is basically um, comes off a toy parachute, yeah. and the inside is a felt felt material, and then I cut it to a pattern. And then these reflective strips that's on the bottom of the boat and on here actually comes from a real life boat mm -hmm. kit. Okay. So they cut the reflective strips off that. So how much time went into this model? Uh, I built it over a six month period. And since I'm retired, I work on it every day. Okay, so, so in a normal person that's got a job, this might take years. Yes, yeah, especially if you look at all these little fittings mm -hmm. and the way the rope is laced, it's all scale. It's all exactly to the original. Do you uh, compete in scale with this at other events? This hasn't been entered yet. I'm going to enter it next week in our scale Every event. Yeah, yeah, so it's just finished. It's only just done its first sea trials. Well, from the looks of it, I think you've got a very good chance. Well, here's another one from my RC bucket building list. Thanks for watching.